hello all welcome back to my channel this is future b here with another video and in this video i am going to be doing my left hand to look like my right hand or similar to my right hand i'm going to be using full cover nail tips i'm going to be using solid nail gel to adhere the tips and i'm also going to be trying out and testing out my two um, mini uv lamps you use these for a, an initial cure like a soft cure and then after you soft cure your nails, you have to go in with a large nail lamp to do the full cure. But I'm gonna be testing both of these out. I got them both from Amazon. This one is attached to my nail desk and this one is a handheld one. So we'll see which one we like better. All right, stay tuned for more. So I've already opened the nail gel. I did use it to do my hand that is already done. So I do have that little bit of a learning curve. I tried it out on that hand. Now I'm using it on this hand. All right, so I put a little bit of it in the nail tip and I just squeezed it onto the nail. Look at that, it actually stays on the nail by itself, which is kind of nice, right? Like you put the glue on there and you don't need both hands to make it stay, it does kind of hold it into place which gives you a little bit of time to go ahead and cure for that nail i did use the uv nail lamp that is attached to my desk i had it on my nail for about 10 seconds so now i'm scooping out a little bit more of the gel glue with the nail tip i use my finger to push it down onto the nail tip a little bit and then i apply it to my nail applying it to the back first and then pushing it towards the front so that the gel moves down the nail tip towards the front and I don't have a whole lot of spillage. I did have a little bit of spillage on my pinky nail and I was able to quickly remove that after I cured but I do recommend that you remove the spillage before you cure. For the second nail I did cure that on with the handheld mini UV lamp. Now I did go in with some base coat on all my nails. On those first two nails, I did not go in with base coat because I wanted to test out how it would adhere with and without base coat, which nails stayed on longer. And truth be told, there was not a lot of difference between the nails that I used base coat on and the ones that I did not. So, you know, at your own discretion. <laughs> and as you can see, I had way too much um, gel on that nail and I just pick the excess from underneath the nail and I put it back in the jar. If you are doing someone else's nails, I would not recommend putting the excess back in the jar, but for myself, yeah, I put it back in the jar and it is not sticky. I really like that. It really makes me happy that it's not sticky because there are so many nail products that you work with that are sticky, but this is a glue that's not sticky. Like how weird is that? <laughs> Again, you see me picking off a little bit of the excess and then I'm going to apply the nail tip to the cuticle area and then push it down towards the free edge and it adheres in place long enough for me to get the UV lamp and there we go, cure, do a soft cure onto the nail. I'm holding the nail lamp to my finger for about 10 seconds for each finger. Then after I've done each finger, I will go in and cure my entire hand in my large UV nail lamp. My large UV nail lamp is a 45 watt. The mini nail lamps, whenever I purchased them off of Amazon, they didn't say what the wattage is. I'm not sure why that is. They don't say what the wattage is, but in general, they work really well. And because I was working with them with this nail gel glue, um, it cured incredibly quickly like as i put it on each nail tip and then place the nail tip on my fingers it adhered to my fingers and then whenever i cured and it stayed in place long enough for me to be able to cure it into place and that was really really nice if you're doing your own hands wow what a time saver <laughs> i was not juggling and that really made me happy right then. I was testing the nails. I was like, is this really cured? Because I couldn't feel it. Like I couldn't feel anything on my hands. These nail tips that I'm using are McCarp full cover gel nail tips. I'm sorry, full cover nails. <laughs> and I really do like these. I use them all the time. 
and I really like using them in this method. This is a method that I would definitely recommend to someone like my mom who really likes to do her own nails but doesn't really like to spend a whole lot of time perfecting doing her own nails. So incredibly easy to cure, not sticky at all. And as you can see, I first was going in with like a needle bit to um, clean up around my cuticles, but um, I didn't want to use that. I began using a sanding band to clean around my cuticles as well as take the shine away from the nails because we are going to go into with some nail art. But um, that worked just fine to get the excess glue from around my fingers. But like I said before, I think that you should get the excess from around your fingers before you cure because it's always harder to clean up after you've cured so clean up before you cure <laughs> so looking back over the footage I think this took me about 12 minutes to um, adhere all of the nails as well as cut the nails and um, shape them so up until this point it's taking me about 12 minutes which is pretty freaking awesome right <laughs> So now I'm going in with a base coat on all of my nails. I will be doing a, uh, a soft cure, but I'm going to be doing it with the UV nail lamp because I am going to go in with some chrome powder. I'm going to do a chrome ombre on this hand, red, well, pink to red, starting with the red on the tip, doing pink at the in the cuticle area blending them two together in the middle and then we're going to go in with some black gel paint on top of it to you know add a little spice to it it's a little different for me and so i just wanted to do this <laughs> now my thoughts on the two nail lamps as well as the nail glue first the nail lamps if you have seen my previous video i did get one of these nail lamps during the prime days this summer and the other nail lamp i got before the prime days but both of them were around the same price they were both under ten dollars i really like the one that attaches to my desk simply because it attaches to the desk but it does have a button on the um cord the cord that it's a USB cord and I plug it into a, an extension cord that's near my desk. I really like that one because it does attach to the desk. What I don't like about it is the fact that it is a USB hookup because obviously things nowadays don't come with the boxes that are needed to go with USBs. The particular extension cord I use had USBs in it and so that was fine for me but um, because it had a cord that means that it couldn't be too far from the extension cord it had to be close to a socket so it's really not that mobile the other uv nail lamp did require batteries and luckily i had some batteries at home but it didn't tell me what type of batteries i had to open it up to see what type of batteries and that was kind of annoying <laughs> I would have liked to be repaired because whenever I bought it, I could have, um, you know, purchased the batteries and had them all come at the same time. But thankfully, I had some batteries at home and so it worked out just fine. Both of the UV lamps cured the nails to my fingers very well. I did not have any issues with the soft cure. And in fact, if I wasn't overly cautious, um, I didn't really need to do a full cure. Like I didn't feel like I would have been like SOL if I didn't do a, few, a full cure, but I did do a full cure. So there's that. <laughs> I think that if you're looking for a UV nail lamp to act as an accessory whenever you're not using your full nail lamp you can't go wrong with either of these i would recommend both of these pros and cons one of them is more mobile the handheld one obviously is more mobile the one that attaches to the desk is more hands-free because obviously you don't have to hold it while you're curing you can just turn it on and it stays on it actually doesn't turn off after 10 seconds 30 seconds a minute it will just stay on 
but keep that in mind whenever you have products on your desk and you're just keeping the nail lamp on like turn it away from your product so you're not accidentally curing okay <laughs> so those are my thoughts on the two nail lamps i think that you can use either of them if you're looking for one that's mobile definitely go with the handheld one if you're looking for one that's stationary you can use the one that is attached um, that you can attach to your desk and it will work really well both of them are under ten dollars so if you want both of them you know go ahead and get both okay just get both you can have both it's totally fine <laughs> advantage to the way that i was testing these products out though was that i was using it with this nail gel glue i probably should have tested these out separately because this nail gel glue was so awesome saucing it had my nails it had the nail tips already kind of like on the nails before i began to adhere them with the uv lamp which was a great thing so i couldn't really tell you how quickly it cured because the nails were kind of like on my fingers before it was time to um, cure and they were not moving so yeah now on to my thoughts about the gel glue i think this gel glue is great it is absolutely great for press-ons i think this is great for nail art i can't wait to use this again i love that i was able to take the excess and put it back in the jar i really think that well i really see why this nail gel glue has become incredibly popular this summer because there are just so many possibilities as far as nail art is concerned as abstract or even you know doing different kinds of making your own charms and that type of thing absolutely great i absolutely love it and then as far as adherence goes i kept these nails on for two weeks on the nails that had base coat on them and the ones that did not two weeks that is pretty good I only wear my nails for about a week, but I really want to test these out. So these are my thoughts. If you um, are trying them or have tried them, let me know. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.